In today's lunch break, we're checking out the fall menu at Shula Steakhouse at Sheridan Grand Chicago Riverwalk. Today, we're making a grilled swordfish with Sheridan's executive chef, Tim Waddell. Nice to Hello. see you. How are you? And earlier, he made us some carrot cake that was amazing. Well, Brought I'm it over to, to the desk. Make sure everybody's taken care of. It's kind of in my nature. <laughs> the problem about giving that to people who read is we're salivating after that. We're like, this is so good. <laughs> you know, it's me. So I'm thinking about TV. I gave you guys a bunch of carrot cake. I'm like, I better go check my teeth. Yeah. I'm going to go do this real quick. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about the new menu, the whole vibe there. Yeah, so we operate many restaurants there. We have a Riverside Cafe, Chicago Burger Company, but we do have Shula's upstairs as well, which is our fine dining steakhouse at night. Okay. Uh, we have Shula's core menu, which is tremendous. Oh, yeah, we're looking at some pictures there right now. There we go, all right. Uh, and then we also have a lot of stuff that we do, and this is one of those dishes. So what we like to do is take a traditional sort of steakhouse dish and make it different, right? Swordfish, traditional. You know, maybe some Bernays or something on the side. Right. We're going to do butternut squash, some shaved vegetables, chermoula, which is like a, a North African relish, if you will. Okay. So we grill it. Here we're going to hard sear it today. Right. Now, okay. But it's perfect for this time of year. Oh, it's and so I think good. swordfish is kind of an underrated fish. I feel like I, well, we were talking in the break a little bit about you go to the grocery store, they have a lot of tuna, a lot of cod. Right. You don't see a lot of swordfish, but it's such a good, versatile fish that a it's lot of people like. Amazing. It's unctuous, right? And then when you put it with some roasted butternut squash, mm. kind of buttery and creamy, you get that unctuous flavor from their shaved vegetables, which has a really neutral vinaigrette made of like citrus and olive oil. Oh, beautiful. And then the chermoula. And the chermoula is made with piquillo peppers, pistachios, fresh herbs and oil, garlic. Everything's mixed up. It's a lot of fun. Oh, and nice. then you just kind of throw it over everything. And yeah, so your mouth is like around. a party in your mouth. You've got That's all these exactly different flavors. That's exactly what we're doing. So did you just, what did you put in here? Just a little bit of olive oil? This or? is olive oil, and it's been marinated lightly in okay. the chermoula itself. Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to sear it so up. So it's really absorbed some of those That's flavors. That's exactly right. And then over here, we have our butternut squash puree, which actually has some chunk of butternut squash in it. Just oh, nice. for some you texture. You leave it a little bit. Just a little bit of texture. So you just boil the squash. Correct. Puree it. Okay. okay we've got a boat motor, right? Outboard motor. Puree it that. Yeah. Puree it up. With any other flavors? Uh, salt, pepper, a lot of herbs. Okay. Fresh herbs, which really pull it through with the rest of the dish. Right. Okay. okay. Lovely consistency. Thank though. you very you know, much. Very creamy, but yet you still get that texture. Exactly. Yeah, I love so, it. So, to that point, I mean, we have all of these other dishes that we're doing now, right? The elotes corn ribs. It's got like a little miso sour cream on the bottom, right? Oh, Again, wow. gives you kind of a little umami flavor, lime, tahini spice, awesome. Oh, and when I walked up, he's like, oh, it's just like the regular elote corn. No, it's not. Uh, well, I mean, to me, <laughs> it's, it's kind of regular. Right. Yeah, well, it is way better. Of course it is. You've kicked uh, it off. Come <laughs> a little on. bit. We've got really great pan-roasted Brussels sprouts oh. with pork belly in them. Uh, it's got a paprika aioli and, of course, this. We have a number of new things as well. Uh, next week, I wanted to talk about this while I'm here. We have a great dinner partnering with the Art Institute of Chicago. Uh, we're doing a, a big five-course menu featuring dishes kind of inspired from the Art Institute. Oh, I so love that. So based on the Great Wave, right? Based on Monet, like Bordighera, like we yes. have a bunch of, like, uh, Night Hawks is one of the choices. Just really cool. I feel like it would be great to look at the menu first, go during the day to the Art Institute, <laughs> see some of those. So that's what I did. I actually okay. went over, I took a tour and, and kind Get of spun around, right? Uh, had a tremendous day. I got just downpoured on. I was so, just oh. soaking wet, but it was like the best time. Um, and it kind of gave me a really cool inspiration for the dishes. Oh, I so love So we're, that. they're really good partners for us. Like we've got great staycation packages where you can kind of have a cultural and culinary experience through a weekend with us so sure. really great so if anybody is looking for something to do next week it's november yeah. 7th uh give okay. us a shout yeah okay? and Let's do a little staycation up. you know come on stay come at the and Sheridan, see me i'll take care of you i gotcha okay all right you want to do this okay sure what do all you right, want let's me to go do? you want to do it come on let's no go. you do it you sure i know all it's right, going right, to be right, artistic gotcha. so based on right, the so way you've done the rest of your stuff i'm not that artistic yo you sure are all right, so let's lay down some of this squash, okay? We're just going to take a little puree. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's put it right in the middle. The fish is finishing up. I'm going to pull it right now because it's, it's done. It's got a beautiful caramelization it sure on it. It sure does. I'm a pro. Yeah, I'm pro I noticed. A little olive oil, a little neutral vinaigrette, and then I'm going to slide by you, get a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure everything is seasoned. So carrots in there. And shaved asparagus. Shaved asparagus, okay. Okay. I'm going to give this a little toss. Just real light, just to kind of get the flavor across. I am going to grab my sword. Now I'm going to lay a little bit down just for some height. 
right? Oh, I see. Okay, tips, tools and tips of the trade. Little sword, we're gonna put a little of the chermoula first, all everywhere. Kind that of, is so interesting. Kind of put it around. You leave the little pistachio chunks oh, in so, there as it's well. It's so good, like texturally, it makes so much sense. I feel like I'd just take a little toast point and put that on and there and just, just go to, it's, it's <laughs> yes. perfect for it. And then we're gonna do a little more of the vegetables. And then we're just gonna finish up with uh, a little garnish. Pull that over. All right. That's beautiful. Put that right All right, there. so November 7th, obviously people November will need 7th. reservations yes. for that special of prefix course, menu. Please. Okay, and then anything else going on as we move into the fall well, and the holidays? Well, we're, we're going to we get towards holiday season, so we're going to be doing a lot of private parties. If anybody is interested in private parties, give us a shout. We service them in two of our restaurants. We can house you anywhere. We can put you in banquets at any point. So oh, anything that you want to do, we can take care of. All right, well, and it looks delicious. So. I'm hoping so. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you for the time. Appreciate it. All right. You can check out the restaurant at 301 East North Water Street. Online, you can find them at shulassteakhouse.com. And go to our webpage at wgntv.com slash midday. We'll have a step-by-step -step for this really wonderful, didn't seem too, too difficult to come together, but wow, what a bunch of wonderful exotic flavors. wgntv.com slash midday.